to attract those scientists and researchers and 21st century innovators, Virginia has to be a commonwealth that is open to business and welcoming to all. I talk to business leaders from both parties every single day. I constantly hear that politicians focusing on a social ideological agenda is not helpful for business. We cannot be putting walls up around Virginia by attacking women's rights, scientists, or gay Virginians. This is a fundamental difference in this race. I know we need to focus on the economy. How do we grow? How do we diversify? Ken Cuccinelli has shown that he will spend his time in office on a social, divisive, ideological battles, and those battles have defined his career. The Washington Post report this morning from the Washington Post, it was in our newspapers, was shocking. It detailed his ties to a radical group that fought against adequate child support because they think it is, quote, punitive, unquote, to men. And groups that, quote, contend that men are frequently victimized by false allegations of domestic abuse, unquote. According to the Washington Post, my opponent even took the unusual step of handling the private case for a leader in these groups while he was sitting Attorney General. Ken Cuccinelli has worked to implement that, their agenda on trying to restrict women's health care rights. Quote, Cuccinelli also was the lone Senate vote against legislation to increase child support payments by tying them more closely to inflation, unquote. Opposing adequate child support is inexplicable and it's just plain wrong. And quote, Cuccinelli offered a bill that would have made it so parents initiating a no-fault divorce could have that action counted against them when deciding custody issues, unquote. Why would you introduce legislation that could punish people who want to get out of a bad marriage? And quote, 47 state attorney generals sent a letter to Congress urging lawmakers to reauthorize the Violence Against Women Act. Cuccinelli was one of three who did not sign it, unquote. My opponent still won't explain what he dislikes so much about the Violence Against Women Act, but that group he is tied to believe that many women make up claims of domestic abuse. During this campaign, there are many issues where Ken Cucci and I have disagreed. And on some of them, I can at least understand his position, even if I don't agree with it. But the positions today laid out in the Washington Post on child support and the Violence Against Women's Act and on family law is just beyond my comprehension. And I believe beyond the comprehension of most Virginians. As governor, my bottom line is simple. We cannot move Virginia forward by holding women back. Women are 50% of the workforce of the United States of America. We need to be encouraging women from all over the globe to come to Virginia to help us build that new energy sector, to become the leader in cybersecurity, bio, and nano life sciences. These types of policies are not just wrong, they're harmful and have serious consequences. Not long after he became Attorney General, Ken Cuccinelli sent a letter to colleges across Virginia trying to get rid of the non-discrimination policies for sexual orientation. Because of that letter, the deal to bring Northrop Grumman's corporate headquarters to Northern Virginia, 300 high-quality jobs, was jeopardized. The governor, Bob McDonald, had to step in to override Cuccinelli and save that deal. Ken Cuccinelli's social agenda is more than just extreme. It is bad for business. The Republican lieutenant governor said just this week, Quote, he is a rigid ideologue who thrives on conflict and confrontation. When Virginia faces headwinds from federal spending cuts and the possibility of a new round of BRAC, Virginia simply cannot afford to have their leaders pursuing their own rigid ideological agenda. As governor, I'm going to spend my time every day focused on growing and diversifying our economy. And I'm going to do that by working on mainstream, bipartisan, pragmatic solutions to transportation workforce training, energy innovation, and K-12 through education. I look forward to your questions today. I thank you for inviting me. This is a group I've spoken to several times. 
I would hope to earn your support in this campaign. We have a lot of work to do in the next coming years, and I look forward to working with everybody in this room on those projects. Thank you very much.